Oh, it was such a relief. The studio came to the rescue of the fur coat. <clears throat> they made a handsome donation <clears throat> to the city, and um, they <clears throat> talked with the police department and apologized profusely in writing and did a whole article in, um, <clears throat> in the police gazette and explained just <clears throat> how sorry the fur coat was and how much it had admired <clears throat> the skills of Officer McMurphy and how wonderful he was. And <clears throat> so they, the police department decided not to sue us, <laughs> which is a relief. Oh. So we're not being sued. So we can go back to what we were doing <laughs> before this regrettable incident occurred. And now, you know, I've had a letter. There's so much going on. But I had a letter from Stelena, you know, remember her? She had the Winter Wonderland wedding and married and became Mrs. Fork and Spoon, moved to Alaska. See what they're doing. Okay. Obsidious <clears throat> set 50 traps, but he forgot to read the signs and was arrested for poaching. Arrested? My brother-in-law? This is too much. So could you please, enclosed is the fine. If you will please pay this fine and send us the money, we will be eternally grateful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! This is Delena. She doesn't keep up. I paid for this wedding and now she wants me to pay fines. I can tell this is going to be a problem. Okay. I am doing well. I went on a... <clears throat> went for a bobsled team for a ride and I got to yell mush and tally-ho and cheerio and all those other fun things you yell. Cheerio to a bobsled team? I don't know about that. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> we live in the nicest little cabin far up in the snowy mountains and we take a sleigh every day to the market. <clears throat> it is beautiful. It is beautiful. And we will be hoping to visit you sometime <clears throat> in the spring, maybe for Easter, <clears throat> after Obsidious can't read her writing, after Obsidious gets his income tax return. Yours very truly, Stelena Forkenspoon. <sighs> that couple, they are quite a pair. I have to pay his fine for poaching? This is too much. I might have known I should never have gotten sentimental about her. Never. <sighs> but what can you do? family. We are... family is who we are stuck with, so I suppose I could be generous and pay the fine just this once. Uh, it's a little high. I won't tell you how much it is. This is Delena. She's going to be a problem. She'll be back. She'll be back and she'll be wanting money. It looks to me like that obsidious fork and spoon is a shiftless, no good leech. And I am going to <clears throat> protect the fur coat's interests. Who knows what tricks that Stelania and Obsidious might try to extort money. They're not above it. They're not. So, we must be careful and watch them. But until then, I go next week for my <clears throat> first film 
with Edmund Stockington. And I'm looking forward greatly to this opportunity. Farewell.